every Friday, we show off a different Bay Area community to try to help you get to know your neighbors. And Palm Harbor really does have an interesting history. Vanessa, before I got out here this morning, you had a chance to meet with a man who knows a thing or two about this community and the story behind it. Palm Harbor is uh, one of our earlier communities. Meet Tom Schofield. You have a question about history? Tom, more than likely, has the answer. A history buff since childhood, he now sits as the historical preservation director for Pinellas County. Our history that goes well back into the 19th century. In fact, Tom says Palm Harbor wasn't the city's original name. Nope. It went by the name Sutherland, the name of the original developer when the Orange Belt Railway was completed back in 1888. The name Palm Harbor wasn't introduced until more than 30 years later in 1923. You know, it's a great place still to come and uh, have a, a dinner on the weekend with our revitalization efforts. We hope to uh, expand that economic opportunity for the local businesses and the like. Thanks to rezoning changes last month, those regulations have been a bit more relaxed and appeal to business owners who want to help add to the downtown area's growth. When we look at five, ten years down the road, um, we see some more development. We see the preservation of our nine designated historic buildings here that they're restored and there's businesses and residences and offices in those buildings. If you're worried about the town losing its small town feel and Gilmore Girls vibe, no need to worry. Tom says these new regulations require buildings still have a historical feel with modernized materials.